Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal Guys. My name is Joseph. Today we're doing a reaction to a new band because I've been trying to expand the catalog of reactions on this channel. I've been kind of doing a lot of similar bands, which I like and enjoy doing, but I also want to discover new bands. And it's going to be with this particular band, Bramier, with the song Wings of Fire. Uh, I'm going to assume probably by the name it's either Swedish, Norwegian, Finnish maybe band. Uh, perhaps maybe some Viking blood in there. We'll have to see what it's all about. Probably melodic death metal. Uh, again, it just kind of seems that genre or death metal. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. But if you're a fan of this band and you're new to this channel, guys, if I don't like it, you're going to hear it from me. I'm going to try to be as respectful as I can. But at the same time, I'm trying to create conversations around heavy metal, what we like, what we dislike, what we enjoy, what we don't enjoy, and things of that sort with the podcasts that I do, album recommendations and album reviews. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay. Yeah, somebody say Encephalium, uh, In Flames, and like Kalma. <laughs> that sort of reminds me right off the bat from this beginning. But let's see how kind of involved. So far, I like I like that electronic keyboard with uh, that melodic death metal sound. Oh my lord. Yeah, it reminds me of Hamba very, very much. Yeah, it reminds me of the New Age in Sepharim. Because when Enzofarm first began with Jari, uh, that era Enzofarm was absolutely phenomenal. So much so when he created Winter Sun and any other project he's done, like you can see that staple everywhere he's went. Whereas Enzofarm now, it's good, but it's just not the same what it was before. And this kind of sounds like it, where it's not bad. Uh, it's not totally blowing me away. Uh, but I'm like somewhere in the middle. I'm enjoying the music. I'm enjoying the direction. It's just I want to hear more of the guitar and drum work. But it seems to be very heavily focused on uh, either synthesized keyboard or whatever effect they're putting on the guitar, which makes it sound kind of weird. <laughs> That solo was nice. That solo kicked in really kind of nice and juicy at the right moment. Um, yeah, this, this is fun. This is a fun song. I've heard better on this channel just based on your recommendation. I do it's some of the stuff I like, but um, it's good. For example, I, I like this more than um, Makoma, Stamina, and Omni Gatherum. Like, I, I would prefer to listen to this personally. Um, and again, I'm not speaking to the quality of other bands, it's more of the preference thing uh, and the style that I like. Uh, actually, there was one particular album that was recommended to me by Andrew from Scars and Guitars, the guy I do a podcast with. Uh, we try to do it every Thursday. 
uh, and this was particularly about uh, the band Massacre, which is old school death metal. Man, I was blown away. That, that was like that was up my style. It was so so good. I'm gonna talk about it actually later on. Perhaps do like a late review for it. I think after Amon Amarth introduced that windmill synchronized head banging, every single band after that wanted to do that because it looked so cool. <laughs> I mean, everybody. And, uh, uh, and I remember how, seeing it for the first time. At that point, I still had long hair. So I was totally on board. I was like head banging, doing the windmill head banging. It was so much fun. Um, yeah. I do like the, the keyboard elements a lot, actually, in this song. It's just from the riff perspective, there's not as much going on. I'll put it this way. Uh, I think this is a fun song. Uh, it seems like to be a fun band. Um, my problem is, and I expressed this with, again, with Andrew when we did the podcast about our top 10 albums, is this idea is just we have only so much time to listen to so much music. For example, if you're younger, probably going to school or you, know, you don't have bills to worry about or an apartment to worry about, all these like life problems. Uh, you probably have more time. You can listen to all these bands and enjoy all of them equally. I have very limited time, especially when it comes to entertainment, things I want to do. I'm a gamer. I like to watch movies. I like to listen to music. It becomes very limited on how much I can consume. So I have to become selective. Uh, and I tend to try to pick what's considered either by many or by me to be the best. Uh, and Premier is like a, a mid-tier band that's fun, but they don't stand out more than like Insomnium or Amorphous or Wolfheart, um, Amanda Mark, like all these kinds of bands that really are on a different echelon, uh, or I should say different kind of sphere, different uh, step uh, in terms of how good they are. And I just choose not to even engage in these bands, not because they're bad, but because I only have so much time. Uh, and the recent one, I've really got me going is Bellacor. Uh, you guys introduced me to Bellacor, and that's like, that has to be on my list because it's just that good. Uh, and when it's that undeniable, you, Gojira seems to be another one because I'm really interested now into checking out more Gojira stuff. Maybe I'll do like a full album reaction. I haven't decided yet just because of time has been a little bit difficult. Uh, but hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this reaction, kind of my thought process of what I think about it. Uh, it seems like a newer band. They seem pretty young. The other one, oh, another one you guys introduced me this week to, I've been checking out, is Base, Beast, but it's uh, B-A-E-S-T, uh, which, again, really love that melodic death metal sound, like old-school death metal sound. They even did a cover of a bolt thrower song. So I was on board with these guys as well. It's just kind of, a, again, it's a preference of taste when something just stands out that much. I'm like, I have to hear more. Uh, with this one, I didn't get that feeling. Guys, but at the end of the day, if you're celebrating Christmas, enjoy your Christmas, guys. Enjoy the rest of your uh, week. Stay safe, keep it metal. I'll see you in the next one. And let me know what your recommendations are if you have any other requests. Well, place them down below. I always create my, I have a huge list now of different reactions that you guys have been asking me to do. Take care.